So I work for the Middlesex Sheriff's Office Canine Unit. I've been with my department for 13 years, and I have two years on canine now. Uh, this is actually, I believe, my second time coming out here to see you guys, so I appreciate you guys having me out here. Uh, my partner is Canine Pebbles. She's a four-year-old yellow lab. So her main function with the Sheriff's Office is drug detection. That's her main job. And then we also are cross-trained to do friendly find tracking. So that's looking for missing children, missing elderly people, the occasional bad guy, depending on the situation, if we don't have a patrol dog in the area or whatnot, and we have to really find that person. But Canine Pebbles is friendly with people and dogs, so she has no aggression. So I have to be careful when we look for a bad guy. Um, we train every single day. Canine Pebbles, can anyone tell me the two, we got two, um, rewards for the dogs. Can anyone tell me what that would it be? Does anyone know? Two reward systems. Go ahead. Yeah, all right. What's the next one? Go ahead. Dog food, yes. So we got toy reward and we got food reward. Canine Pebbles is a food reward dog, so she has to work every day to be able to eat her food. She doesn't get treats. I have a pouch that I have that I actually put her dog food in. She gets two and a half cups of food a day. So when you come out, you'll see her. She's lean, she's very short to the ground, and very, very strong. I'm kind of a big guy, and she pulls me all around. That's probably why she's so jacked. and then she's getting rewarded on it. So when we try to search, pet, like especially with packages, we'll put out a bunch of packages, similar shape, size, and color, so that way we can't say that she just indicated on that box because she likes the color white or she likes the color yellow or that package was different than the others. So we try to keep them the same shape, color, and size. So that way it's a, a fair shot for everyone, and if she finds it, she finds it. You got a tattoo too? Yeah. Oh, nice. I got lots of tattoos. Yeah, I got a lot of tattoos on the arm. Yep, yep. What else? Anyone else? No? You? You? All right. So I got one more for you. So when Canine Pebbles comes out, if you guys, when she came out to search for drugs, you guys see that little black collar I put on there? We call that, that's her drug collar. So instead of giving her a command to search, she has that. That's her uh, nonverbal command that I slipped that on. She'd find drugs without it. It's just something that we've done since day one of the academy. Slipping that on, giving her a little piece of food. So we just keep that going. But she does search without it. Go ahead. Um, well, I better find her. So it's, it's my job to make sure she stays safe. So if she gets lost, I'm in trouble. Go ahead. Any reason the dog would false alert to like um, prescription drugs? Uh, so okay, yeah, Pebbles, it's not a false alert. Pebbles will hit on anything narcotic wise. So Percocet, Vicodin, Oxycodone, she will hit on those. She's not, she hasn't been trained on those, but we've put them out for her and she has hit on them. Just like they put meth out for her, it's very meth is very smelly to the dogs, and she hits that no problem. She's climbed under a car and got it during training, and she's never been trained on it. Just they have a derivative inside the pills that the dog knows. It's probably from when we trained them on the heroin, stuff like that. That was Suboxone that I put out for her. That's probably about 15 strips of Suboxone. Um, she was never trained on that, but it was just something that we put out. She, she hit on it, and then we just keep training it into her. So now she knows that smell. She gets rewarded with food. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you.